This is Derek from TDOC, who is here to explain to us our TDOC scanning instruments and peel packs. So go ahead, Derek, and show us where we can find the um, application on our computers. All right, so each one of the computers actually have TDOC installed on it. So on the bottom left, you'll click the start button, and on the right hand side is gonna be the, a blue TDOC launcher. So right when you, you can see it right here, it's the blue icon. So once you do that, you click it. Um, if it's just happening, it'll, it'll make sure there's any updates and then it'll launch the scanner client for you. All right, so in this example, we'll be using Stephanie as one of our uh, test testers, uh, users. Um, kind of some information that you can have in here is if you see this, this is actually the OR that we're in currently is OR9. So once I scan the badge that um, still processing gives you, it, once you have that, you'll have, you can put that on the back of your ID so you can scan for the future. So you scan your badge. So there's a couple things you'll notice. Uh, Stephanie name, Stephanie's name popped up onto the computer itself. So this is saying that everything that's gonna be happening within the 10 minutes of the auto logout, it'll be Stephanie's name associated to it. So um, that is, and I'll go ahead and show an error what happens if you don't. So there is one error that we will be using. So if I scanned a appeal pack or a tray, with me being logged out, it'll say there's a no person. So what you'll have to do is scan your ID and then start scanning again. So there's just a quick error, but uh, now we'll go get into a little bit about the uh, scanning template to how to scan trays and pill packs and cubes into the system. So here's what the templates look like, but they're gonna be in the back of each computer. Uh, they'll be laminated and be ready to use. Uh, so there's, it's three steps. Uh, the first step is actually gonna be just scanning your user ID. That's the barcode that you're still processing. Um, then you're gonna scan all the units that are actually gonna be used on the patient. So that, that includes peel packs, uh, the cube, and the instruments that are within the case card. So in that one, do the, in the case card, you're gonna have to do each and every item that you're using in that. But in the cube system, since it's a tag system that once you open it, all of them will be considered unsterile, you can scan the tag on that one, which so then you'll just mark everything for the room. And then peel pack, same thing, just scan that. So I'll go through the quick scan process on here. So what you do is scan your user ID. That's step number one. Step number two, you're gonna go to scan the unit. So I've got the peel pack right here. So I scan the barcode for it. There we go. It's saying that I, it registered that to going to the location. And you'll see that this, the unit popped up for it. And then we log out. And you can keep scanning whatever trays you have once you're done. And then once you're finished, you log out. And there, if you forget to log out, what would happen? Yep, uh, so it'll auto log out in 10 minutes. So there's multiple ways to get logged out. So there's a scan log out. And then there's a little power button that's right on the scanner client itself to log you out of the system. Yep, and I think uh, Teresa has some questions. So we can scan the cube as one for all the pans inside. What about a cart of instruments? Can we scan that as one or do we need to scan each one individually? So you need to scan individually because uh, it needs to track the specific instruments that were used, not the full case cart. If we're scanning and we get an error message, what do we do? Uh, so if, if it doesn't have the no person, scan your ID, but if, if there's any other errors that occur, like on stock or anything like that, you will just continue on. Uh, report will be generated on the sterile processing side, so don't want to interrupt workflows. So we only have to scan when we bring the instruments in, we do not have to scan them when we're taking them or sending them to SPD, correct? Correct. Um, there's a comment box. Um, do we have to use that or not? And if we do, do we still have to put repair tags on the instruments? So the comments are optional. The main thing that you still have to do is do the tag it yourself. Uh, that's, that's definitely the one that's physically needed. And when will we go live with this? And that'll be July 6th. 
All right. So if um, a physician is doing a case and say it's an abdominal case and he needs the big deaver set. So when the circulator gets the pan of the big deaver set that she will have to go in and scan that before she opens it to the scrubber. Yep, uh, so I would scan it before. So all she has to do is scan her ID and then scan the, the, the deaver set and then she'd be able to go open it and give it to the scrub. Great.